Hello and welcome to the new and improved MU Engage. This training video will help you get started on utilizing the new MU Engage site and finding where all of your resources and tools are. When you first log into MU Engage, you will come to this home screen. This page will be updated um, during the year with different information and events that are happening. These are also all clickable as well. So if you want to join the Engage Admin Club and stay up to date on trainings and helpful tools and helpful information, you can click here to join. We, will, we are advertising for Welcome Week, so you can click here to find Welcome Week events. You can edit, view and edit your profile here as well. Click here to learn about the new and improved Engage and find other additional resources and training videos. The Help Center for finding other resources and tools as well. Upcoming events, your groups that you are a member of, and then some campus links down here as well. We also have the left menu, which brings you back to home, has the feed, groups, your notifications, upcoming events, news posts, and your activity, which you can drop down to then find your groups that you're a member of, your events, your meetings, if you add events to your calendar, if you have any checklists to complete, and then it'll also show you that you have that there as well, your co-curricular transcript, which we'll get to in a little bit, service hours, surveys and forms, workflows, and your inbox. And again, those campus links here as well. So to go to your groups, you can either click on the left menu or up on the top, and you're able to go to your groups. If you wanna search a group, you can search it here. Your last seen um, groups will show here as well, and then all groups. If you are an officer of a group, you will see the manage button here, but you can also go to all groups to search groups and join groups as well. So as you see here, you can search groups by key names, if you're interested in dance, you can type in dance. If you're interested in sports, you can type in sports and find all of the groups that have that in the name. You can also search by group categories and all groups versus your groups and also our different org um, and group types up here as well. So if you're interested in Mizzou Rec groups, click Mizzou Rec and you're able to see all that is available to you. If you do find a group that is of interest to you, you can click the button and you can click join here as well. But if you also want more information, you can go ahead and just click the name and this will bring you to the group homepage. So you're able to find out more information about them, if they have members open, if you can find events, officers, documents, all of these and more. And if you are wanting to join, there will be a blue button up here to also join the group as well. You can also contact them if they have any social media links that'll show up over here as well. To find events, you go to the events tab and it has similar features and tools here as well. So you can scroll down and find upcoming events. You can also search events. You can search based on a group, group type, category tags, event types, event tags, which um, there are many here. So if you're wanting to find certain events, you can do it based on the event tags. If you want, know you wanna have an online only event, you can search for that as well. And when you do find an event that you are interested in, you are able to register it for it. So if I already know I wanna register for this event, I can click register here. Or if I want to go in and see more information about it, read the details, see where it actually is, I can go ahead and go in and I can add it to my calendar and I can also register for it here as well. And I'm registered for this event and I can go in and see the event details again and add it to my calendar as well. That is events. So we're gonna go back to home and go down. So as you can see, there are notifications here and also this bell up here. If you do complete any forms or surveys or I have successfully registered for an event. So it's gonna show me that as well. 
news posts. If you want to see what's going on in the community, you can come here and see all of the news posts. So we have welcome to the new and improved MU Engage here. And then under your activity, again, you're able to see your groups. So these are groups that you are already a member of. You can see that there. You can also see your events. And that shows like that. Checklists, if those are there. And we're going to go ahead and go down to the co curricular transcript. So this is where you're able to see all of your involvement um, and all of your extracurricular outside of the classroom involvement. So here you can also customize this and then you can print and save it. So if I want to reorder this, I can just go ahead and do that. I can edit it, add in a comment, and I can say I actually want to move it up one. And I can move this one down to reorder them based on whatever purpose I'm needing this for. Let's say I don't want to have anything shown, like I don't want to have my membership shown, I can go ahead and hide that. Or if I want to hide that I was professional staff in this, I can hide that as well. And so when I go to print it, it is hidden. But then there's a purpose where I do want it shown, so I can edit that as well. You can see here that there are events as well added and all of your membership here as well. And that is all for the co-curricular transcript. So to manage your profile and your settings, you can see you have your account icon over here. Just drop that down and you're able to go in and edit your information, view your profile. But a big one is the notification settings. So this is also very customizable. I have my general notifications. I can have my web notifications, which is up here. I can have email and mobile notifications as well. And you can decide the different variations you would like. There also is group notifications for each group you are a member of. So I can go in and edit the group notifications for just this group, or I can scroll down and continue doing that for all of my groups if I want a different level of notifications. At any point, you should be able to see this question mark down at the bottom. This is the help center. If you do have any questions, you can go ahead and click this, go to your help center, and then type in here what you are looking for. And there should be an article that explains exactly what you are needing. And going back to the home page, just to start back off, that little button is always here, but we also do have the Help Center linked directly here. And if you click it, it launches you right back to that place we were just at. So that is a very brief rundown of how to manage and utilize certain aspects of MU Engage. Of course, as we continue throughout the school year and the semester, we will continue to offer other trainings and more resources for you as well. If you do have any questions, you can just reach out through email to engage at missouri.edu and we would be more than happy to assist you. Thank you.